hey you guys welcome back to my channel in this video I'm going to show you guys how I created a rich moisturizing whipped body butter first off if you're new to the channel I do have my own store I'm officially open now just go ahead and look at shoplushlegacy.com or simply click the link down below it is a beauty store I make handmade body butters body scrubs lip glosses I also sell eyelashes neon pigments chunky glitters and things like that that I'm officially open make sure you guys go ahead and check out that website down below right now I have some great deals going on for eyelashes I have my 25 millimeter minks on sale as well as some 3d minks with 11 styles to choose from so let's go ahead and jump into this body butter running down the list of ingredients first we have our pure beeswax emulsifying wax this is mango butter you're gonna need cocoa butter as well and for our last butter we have shea butter moving on to our oils we have jojoba oil rose hip oil we have our vegetable glycerin our preservative for this body butter I'm using Optifin and lastly we have some vitamin E oil you're also going to need two containers to melt down both your water ingredients and your oil ingredients I have two separate glass beakers for our mixing bowl, I mean, you can use any mixing bowl as well as a handmade mixer. Now it's time to start measuring out our ingredients. I forgot to add that you're going to need some purified water for this recipe. This recipe measures out to about 20 ounces or 566 grams of body butter. With that being said, this recipe calls for 11 grams of purified water as well as 11 grams of our glycerin now these two are our only water phases so they need to be mixed together and then heated at a certain temperature for about 15 minutes so i go ahead and i mix both of my water ingredients i set that aside and then i mix my oil ingredients and then i put them in the same double boiler and I let them heat up that way they're at the same temperature when it goes time to mix them in now I'm going to go ahead and start to measure out all of my oil ingredients it's very important that you reset the scale every time you add a new ingredient and that the mode that you're in is in grams so the first oil that I'm adding is rose hip oil and for this recipe it calls for 6.6 grams but I'd like to split that in half that way I can get half rosehip oil and I can get half of the vitamin E oil so here I stopped that maybe 3.56 for the rosehip oil and then I'm just making up the difference with the vitamin E oil totaling up to 6.6 .6 grams The next oil ingredient that I'll be adding is jojoba oil. It boils down to about 9% of the total uh, formula. That is about 19.89 grams. I try to be very exact when I'm adding my measurements, but sometimes I go a little bit over and I can't really take it back, so. Next, I'm going to be adding pure beeswax. I'm using white pellets, and you're gonna need about 11 grams of the beeswax. And the purpose of adding the beeswax is so the butter butter will have a higher melting point um, because it's really hard to melt down beeswax and you don't want your body butters to like melt just out in the open or anything like that. So I like to add a little bit of beeswax just to make it a little bit firmer and it's not so easy to melt. 
The last ingredient that I will be adding to our oil ingredients before I put them in the pot of hot water is the emulsifying wax. And I do this so the oils and the water ingredients can mix nicely and they don't separate. Again, once your body butter reaches a certain temperature, it gets hot and the oils and the butters start to separate and no one wants that. So I add a little bit of beeswax and a little bit of emulsifying wax. I melt them all together in a hot pot along with the water and glycerin. Okay, now we're gonna start to mix in our butters. This is shea butter and the recipe calls for about 26.4 grams. And you're gonna have the same exact measurement for the cocoa butter. The reason why I use less of the cocoa butter and the shea butter is it's really strong. The, the smell is super, super strong and I don't want that. So um, I go with a softer butter, both in texture and in smell. And I use mainly uh, mango butter. So you're gonna go ahead and measure out 26.4 grams of your shea butter and your cocoa butter before adding your mango butter. Now I'm going to go ahead and add my mango butter. Uh, it is 30% of the total formula, which is 66 grams. So like I said, I'm really heavy on the mango butter and I'm light on everything else. Now I don't melt these down. I kind of leave them at room temperature and I take my uh, handmade mixer and I kind of mash them together to make them soft. And then I mix. I, I don't necessarily need to melt them down. I know a lot of people do that, but I don't just because I've run into issues of it not melting down properly and the texture is just weird so this way works for me room temperature mash them together and then mix it mixes just just as good you see and i don't even have oil in here yet and it already looks like a whip jumping into our ingredient on the hot pot as you can see the beeswax wasn't completely melted so i had to go in and agitate it you want to agitate both your oil and your water components that way everything is really well mixed before you add it to your butter batch once you do that you go ahead and mix everything together this will melt your butters so you don't need to you know melt the butters because they're going to get melted anyway and then you go ahead and mix 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 so everything is really well melted everything is blended together and then you're going to go ahead and take a soft spatula and you're going to clean up the edges that way everything is mixed um consistently all the way through because sometimes part of it will be smooth and then you'll have like little pebbles in there that's because you didn't mix those all together once you do that i'm going to put it in the refrigerator for about five minutes so it can cool down look at this texture this looks like cake batter this is perfect you want your body butter to cool down evenly that way you don't have like any like mishaps as far as texture goes so once you take it out you're going to go ahead and blend it again you're going to break it up right you want it to be very very light so you're going to be doing a lot of whipping the purpose of you cooling down your butters is though you can add your preservative and your fragrance oil because if you add it too soon you're gonna burn it off. Like the temperature before we put it in the refrigerator is too hot for the preservative and the fragrance oil. And you add both of these at the end, just in case you don't have the proper consistency that you want. You can always melt it down again, recool it, and then add your preservative and fragrance oil. Like I said, both of those come at the end during the cool down phase. Now, for this recipe, uh, the preservative, you wanna equal it out to about 1.5% which is 3.3 grams. Again, the preservative that I'm using is Optifin. I use it in my sugar scrubs as well. I don't have any problems with it. This is my fragrance oil. It is a light, uh, like kind of fruity, kind of floral smell. And I use 30 grams. You're gonna go ahead and blend everything together. Blend, 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 blend. Blend. <laughs> and once you don't think you've done enough, 
you blend again. So I blended this for about 10 minutes before I put it back in the refrigerator to cool down so it can thicken up and then get that texture that I really want. This time I left the body butter in the refrigerator for about 10 minutes before I took it out. That way it can thicken up and right away look at that. Like it looks like whipped cream, it looks like cake batter. Honestly, this looks like that uh, blended marshmallow spread that you get um, from the store. It looks like marshmallow filling. This is amazing. I wanna get a close up so you guys can see the texture of this whipped body butter. Like right away, like, I just want to eat it it looks so good but don't eat it like it, this, this is not edible this is for your skin so yes so this is the texture that you want you want it to be thick and again I blended this for about another 15 minutes because I want it to be very airy and I want it to be very light hence a whipped body butter Doesn't that just look glorious? Yes. So we're gonna go ahead and start to fill our containers. I don't have a piping bag or anything like that, so I just use a, a plastic sandwich bag and I filled that up. I just put it in like one of the little cups that I have. I bought a little box of sandwich bags. It was like a hundred for a dollar, and I like using sandwich bags um, because they're disposable. They're really easy to use and. I don't know they're cheap <laughs> I mean I don't need to an expensive like piping baking bag or whatever I can just use this and it works out just fine so go ahead and fill this up to the top and you're gonna twist the end that way you can have added pressure to the bottom of the bag you're gonna cut a small slit and then you're gonna go ahead and fill up your containers so this is the container that I'm using it is a plastic four ounce wide mouth a lid container I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys how I do my filling wasn't that so pleasing to watch I should be a baker or something cuz I'm a professional Like I said, this filled up four regular four ounce containers and it made about eight five gram containers for my sample sizes. And again, I just want you to take a look at this texture. Like it looks like whipped heaven. It really looks like marshmallow filling. Like that's where you want your whipped body butter to look like. This is the perfect consistency. I want you guys to look for a second, see how my skin is glowing. Your girl ain't ashy no more. I really want you guys to try out this recipe for yourselves. Please let me know if you guys like this video down below in the comments. I'm going to have another video on how I make my body sugar scrubs. So just be on the lookout for that one. I'll see you guys in the next one.